Oh, the last day of October. And we've got another interruption from the bathroom build. Lights on here. Okay, there's a lot of people maybe a little bit too far south or in other countries that don't know what that is. That is a snowblower. And that keeps snowmen happy. That was a dirty joke. So, took a three hour trip to Toronto to pick this thing up. And we're going to give it a little bit of a going over. Got it uh, from one of my neighbor's father in laws for him. It's not mine. And he's getting a little doughty, getting on in age. And we think we may have put gasoline into the oil fill, at least by the smell of it. So, yeah, getting your holes mixed up could be a pain in the butt. And that's another dirty joke. So we're going to give this thing a little bit of a service and get her ready for winter. Well, the first step. Ten millimeter. And I'll let the oil drain out. Over on this side, a spark plug. And if I get some access there, make life a little easier, I hope. Let's switch over to the ratchet a little quicker. Got one here. These little magnetic trays are wonderful. And it looks like we've got a couple in here. And the ratchet won't fit in there. Probably going a bit deeper into this than I have to, but like I said, we're inspecting as we go. One in here. And can I get to it? Not with that cover in place. Does the sheet make any difference? Oh, there we go. The belts won't look too bad. So we're okay on belts. And now we can get at that last bolt. And hopefully this heat shield comes off now. There we go. And you see the muffler's in really good shape. Now it's going to get the spark plug boot off. That made it easier. That's a long boot. That's buried down in there with takes a 13 sixteenths. Oh, that's not in there very tight at all. <laughs> that spark plug's in fine shape. Yeah, it's almost brand new. So no worries there. Like I said, this is a pretty new machine. There's two levers on the handles. This one is the clutch for the auger. And it seems to be moving just fine and activating. And that's under that black cover that I took off. And this one is for the drive wheel. 
and that's just a pressure plate and that seems to be activating just fine also and those are for these pulleys down here there's the one for the auger and if you I don't know if you can see way down in there That's the wheel drive pulley, and it's activating. Yeah, it looks like our oil stopped draining here. Now, I see a lot of folks, they try to pour like this. But if you turn this thing over, it makes it much easier. And we'll just drizzle her in there. A little bit at a time, nice and slow. So this thing has an electric start in it. So she plugs in there. Now take the safety ignition out. Because it's raining outside, I don't want to be messing with this out in the rain. I just want to see if this thing works. It doesn't seem to catch. There's no gas in it. There she goes. Okay, so we've got electric start working. The tires are a bit soft, and my compressor's in the house. We'll just do it the old timey way. Good old Canadian snowblower. I suppose if you don't need one of these, you live in a place that have things like crocodilians and snakes and other such critters that look upon you as a good source of protein. Choke, speed. Climbed up. Well, I am getting a spark, so it's got to be either fuel or air. It's the only two thing, three things a infernal combustion engine needs, so once more into the belly of the beast. Now, well, I've got gas in the float bowl, but it sinks to high heaven. You have a fuel problem. I'm going to drain out this old crap. Yeah. It smells like old gas. And everything's buried under layers of shielding and plastic that I can't figure out how to get off right away, so. Let's see if we can get her like this. There's rust. That shouldn't be like that. Okay, let's hold the in there now. This is fun, isn't it? Please tell me this is fun. There we go. Oh, more crap. Scripts to the rescue. Yeah, rust. Shouldn't be in a fuel system. We'll get her as clean as we can. At least we got new gas coming into the float bowl now. Yeah, 
it's just in little spots that it was bad. I'm hoping this will do everything. I hope the inside of the carburetor isn't all gummed up. I'm going to give her a good dose of sea foam to... Give her a good drink of sea foam. We'll pour a little bit right down the carburetor throat there too. Well, we've got into the carburetor and it's sitting right there. I really got to give a big shout out to MTD for putting stuff that you would normally service buried so deep within stuff that you'd normally never have to touch. Because it's just ridiculous. Like what an accomplishment. Just amazing. Right into the belly of the beast now. Got the carburetor off. Everything seems to be working okay, but we've obviously got crud in there. Yeah, it's probably clogging up the orifice. Alright, we've soaked for a while, and we've sprayed for a while, and we've degunked for a while. Did a lot of things for a while. Had lunch. Let's see if it'll work. And all the orifices blown out. Hopefully we've got it. Let's hope that's it. I think we got enough parts on it now it might start up. I hope it starts up. Please start up. Still no fuel getting to it. Oh, I see it dripping out the bottom there. There's gotta be fuel getting into it. tight enough. The dang memory card filled up on me. Okay, where are we? Okay, we've got that tightened back up. Let's try some choke on it. Choke on. Choke's on. Uh, speed. some of that bad crap out of it but she's running a few tanks of good fuel in there she'll be fine yeah oh better check to see if that auger works make sure the rest of the controls work
Everything's working. <laughs>